all the loves. So I had a couple, well more than a couple, video requests. So I figured I would do um, one or two tonight um, since I have time and I'm going to be editing anyways tonight. So I figured I'd go ahead and do these so I could have them filmed. And this one is going to be showing my tattoos and my piercings and letting you know about about what age I got them and if they have a special meaning to me. So let's start with um, piercings. Um, my first piercings were my ears, though they're not in now. I am letting them close up because this one ripped. I will be getting them redone. I'm going to have them pierced with a 14 gauge needle to try and surpass the um, basically enlarge the hole and try to pierce through the scar tissue of the rip so it will open it up and it'll stop ripping um, because right now it's just like torn and it's just hanging lower than the other ear so I figured I'd go ahead and just get them repierced. Um, my second piercing was my belly button and I had to take that out um, because I had gotten it and it started to it wouldn't heal and it got real it got really infected and it rejected so I had to take that out so I don't have that anymore either and then my next piercing was my tongue and I've had that since I was I'm gonna say about 18 no no um 19 18 or 19 I got that I believe I was 18 um I went and had that done. One of my friends paid for me to have it done um, for a birthday present, so I got that done on my birthday. Um, it wasn't too bad. Actually, that was probably one of my easiest piercings. I, it was really easy, and a lot of people said that the swelling was really, really bad after they got theirs, and mine wasn't really too that bad. Um, I just ate a lot of ice and ate soup. Um, the other thing was I'd eat like ramen noodles and it would get like around the tongue ring. Um, my next piercing would be um, my lip ring. And I got that when I was 23 or 24. Um, I've always wanted a lip ring and so I finally got one um, after my son was born. Um, I decided I really, really wanted it, and yeah, so I got it, and I've had it ever since, and I freaking love it. And let's start, okay, let's start talking about piercings, because actually my piercings came, well, except for this one. My piercings all came before my tattoos, except for this one. Um, my first tattoo, let me see if I can show you guys, was this dragonfly, and it's got little stars off of its tail. I got that, um, I'm going to say I was probably about 21, 22. Um, that was my first ever tattoo. Um, no real meaning behind it. Um, I just really, really like dragonflies. I love dragonflies and I lived in South Carolina and we've seen a lot of dragonflies and I absolutely love them so I just decided that my first tattoo would be a dragonfly. Um, my next tattoos, there's actually two that I got at the exact same time. Um, let me see if I can adjust this. I got this one. Um, it's a black rose bleeding and I got that. Um, as a reminder that even the most beautiful things have a, a darkness um, with them. Um, they can, the most beautiful things can be dark. And yeah, but, and I, and I absolutely love black roses. And then my next one, let me adjust this again, is this one, which I designed, it is a T and a J for me and John, and it has our wedding date and some hearts. I designed that one, um, and then of course, you know, is our our um, and of our, the day we they, we got married, and 
I drew up the T and the J and it's connected by a heart. Um, our, our letters of our name, our first names, um, connect with a heart. Um, let me think for a minute. What was my next tattoo? My next tattoo was this one, I believe. Yes, this one. Um, it's a butterfly and in the middle it's a um, lupus um, support ribbon and around it um, it says in loving memory um, Kathy Jo Brunson Cable and it has the, her birth date and her, her death date. Um, that's for my sister who passed away from lupus. Um, so yeah, that has a lot of meaning to it. Most of my tattoos do have meanings um, behind them because I really think about my tattoos before I get them. And this one just meant a lot. Um, I actually had my friend draw it up and do it. Um, I had a lot of troubles with this one though. That's why the lettering is so faded because um, the, the butterfly scarred up a lot. It had a lot of trouble and I kept getting like a weird like infect like a weird skin thing going on um, it had nothing to do with the ink or anything it was just my skin um, in this area because of it moves a lot and it rubs a lot um, it just didn't want to take and then when I did the lettering I had the same reaction so um, I refused to get it touched up because I know that I'm gonna have issues with it and my next tattoo would be my Mario star, my power store, power up star. Um, I love video games, as you all probably know, and Mario was one of the first games I ever played. Mario was the first game I ever played, it was Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo. Um, so, yeah. Um, absolutely love this tattoo. Um, it's faded, but I've decided not to touch it up because, um, it's yellow, so it's really, really bright, and I, I think, if anything, I might get it touched up one more time, but I'm not sure yet, um, because it does stand out more if I get it touched up, so. I don't know if I'm gonna touch it up or not. Um, what was my next one? I'm trying to think. My two ankles. I think my next one was my teardrop. Um, this one basically, um, I got that because uh, if there was a group of friends, um, us girls, and my one friend had gotten it, and then the other girls had gotten it, and then when I moved back, they're like, you want to join the group and get the teardrop? And I was like, sure. And it's cute because I can go, oh, cry me a river. But I like it. I like it. It's, a, it's, it's subtle. It's cute. It's tiny. It's just a little teardrop. Um, the next one I got was my bunny. Let me aim you guys down. It's my bunny. Um... For those of you who don't know, I am absolutely in love with the Bunny the Bear. This is not finished yet. Um, I'm going to be adding to it eventually when I have the money. Um, but this is um, the, the one lead singer. This is the Bunny's signature. It says the Bunny. Um, my friend designed it and I went and got it. I absolutely love it. And actually Matt uh, shared this on quite a few of his social sites when I first got it done and it healed beautifully. I'm so, 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 so happy with it. I couldn't ask for a better tattoo. I absolutely love it. And I'm eventually gonna be getting the bear and um, some other stuff around it. Okay, whoa. Um, next tattoo is my side piece. And this is a bunch of stars and swirls, and it has all of my kids' names on it. So yeah, it does have a meaning. I absolutely love stars, 
and my kids mean the world to me so what better way than a entire side piece um it is not finished yet um there's going to be a lot of color put into it i just have not had the time um if the tattoo's paid for i just haven't had the time to go get it finished i did pay her for it i just haven't had time to go get it finished because that's gonna be extensive and it's gonna hurt like crazy because this one hurt and I moved a lot and so my lines are not that straight because I moved a lot. Um, the next one is my wrist and it's in Elvish and it says twin cousin in Elvish and that is because of my twin cousin, Cookie. Um, if you guys don't know who she is, just look up um, OCD Perfection and her channel will pop up and it'll say Cookie. And she's also on my featured channels on my ch on my channel. Um, she's the one I do all my like videos together with and stuff. We do Silly Saturdays together. But yeah, um, eventually I'm hoping she gets hers done. Um, she was not able to get hers done at the time. Um, so she doesn't have hers yet, but I'm hoping eventually she'll be able to get hers because I absolutely love mine and it's cute and it's tiny and I can't twist my wrist the right way to show it to you, but it's straight. It's just when I twist my wrist, it's not, but yeah, I put it like that. Um, and the final, yeah, my final tattoo is my, um, ring finger. I got my husband's name on my ring finger um, basically because I am horrible at keeping um, wedding rings. I've lost two of my wedding rings. So yeah, I went ahead and just got it permanently done. Actually, me and my husband both got it done on our, our um, nine year anniversary and it was a surprise. He just went and got it done on our anniversary and I was so excited and I cried because I wasn't expecting him to do it. He has to get his touched up. I've already had mine touched up. So yeah, that's my husband's name. So I believe that's, I believe that's all of them. That's all of them. So um, I do plan on getting more and like I said, my ears are going to be pierced up eventually and I would like to get more earrings here soon um, I do already have the earrings I just have to get them pierced I just haven't had time and tattoos you bitch ass I'm getting more because I freaking love tattoos I'm addicted and I just I, I want to actually probably try to finish my side before I start anything else I might not even I don't know I want to finish my side, but I also want to start my my um, my arm. So yeah, that's all my tattoos and piercings that I have at the moment. Um, like I said, I will probably get more, and it'll probably change, like it always does. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you lovelies later. And if you guys have any more video requests, let me know. There, I have actually quite a few. Um, that I have so I, I'm going to try and get them done I'm not going to do them all at once but I'm going to try and do one more tonight and yeah I will talk to you lovely later toodles